you probably already know that high blood pressure isn't good for your health. But do you know which numbers actually matter and when you should start to worry? High blood pressure is often called the silent killer because it usually has no obvious symptoms, yet it can cause serious damage to your heart, brain, and kidneys over time. In today's video, we'll break down what high blood pressure really is, how it affects your body in ways you might not expect, and most importantly, how to know when it's time to see a doctor and take action to protect your health. Stay with us to learn the facts that could save your life. Let's start by breaking down blood pressure numbers and what they actually mean. Blood pressure is the force your blood exerts against the walls of your arteries every time your heart pumps it through your circulatory system. We measure it using two numbers, and each one tells us something important about how your heart and blood vessels are working. When your heart beats, it pushes blood against the walls of your arteries, creating what's called systolic blood pressure. That's the top number you see in your reading. For a healthy adult, this number is typically below 120. Then there's the lower number, called diastolic blood pressure. This measures the pressure in your arteries when your heart is resting between beats. Ideally, this number should be below 80 for healthy adults. Both numbers are measured in units called millimeters of mercury, or MMHG for short. Now that we know what normal blood pressure looks like, let's talk about numbers that are considered high. If your top number falls between 120 and 129, and your bottom number is still under 80, your blood pressure is likely in the elevated range. There's no need to panic yet, but consider this a wake-up call to start taking preventive action. If your systolic blood pressure is between 130 and 139, be sure to check your diastolic number too. It's likely between 80 and 89. This falls under stage 1 hypertension, and it's important to seek medical advice. Depending on your health history, you may or may not need medication. In the early stages, your doctor might simply recommend lifestyle changes to help lower your blood pressure. Once your systolic blood pressure goes over 140, along with a diastolic pressure above 90, it becomes a serious condition. This is considered stage 2 hypertension, and it usually requires treatment with blood pressure medication. While symptoms like dizziness, headaches, or shortness of breath may show up in stage 1, they often become more noticeable in stage two. This indicates a more serious level of high blood pressure, which significantly raises your risk of heart attack, stroke, and other cardiovascular problems. Consult your doctor as soon as possible. A hypertensive crisis happens when your top number rises above 180 and your bottom number goes over 120. If your blood pressure is this high and you're also experiencing symptoms like chest pain, back pain, shortness of breath, numbness or weakness, trouble speaking, or vision changes. Don't wait. Reach out to your doctor immediately. High blood pressure might be common, but that doesn't mean you should ignore the early warning signs. Like with most health issues, prevention is always better than cure. If you want to dive deeper into systolic and diastolic pressure, as well as the causes of high blood pressure, be sure to check out the video linked in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to Blood Pressure Healthcare for more tips on managing and maintaining healthy blood pressure. Stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.